Hi, I'm Rod Gilly. Today I want to offer my review of Tales from Mr. Macabre by Daniel R. Hayes. Why, hello there, and welcome. <laughs> what the heck was that? Oh well, we'll go on with the review. There are 24 short stories in this book. A neat little extra is that each of these stories includes a conversation between Mr. Macab and Mr. Hayes. Mr. Macab had invaded Mr. Hayes's mind, after all. <laughs> All right, I know who you are. Mr. McCobb, you get back to West Virginia, back to Mr. Hayes. You go fumbling around inside my mind, you'll come out drooling and babbling, curled up in the corner, peeing yourself. So you get back to Mr. Hayes in West Virginia and let me be. He doesn't like sweet and charming things. So... Here's a shout out <laughs> to Emily at Dark Violet Dreams. On her channel, she has booktuber tags, book reviews, and a real talent for reading poetry. I especially loved her reading of The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Boy, that was a lot of fun. That was a really nice reading. So check out her channel. I think you'll enjoy it very much. There's a link down in the description. He's gone. Well, now that he's gone, I'll go on with my review. Tales from Mr. McCobb by Daniel R. Hayes. 24 short stories. Now, Mr. Hayes has a unique style in that he writes horror tales, but with a twist of comedy in them. For me personally, these stories were kind of more comedy with a twist of horror, but that's just how I took them. I think the ideal reader for this book would be a YA reader who's interested in getting into reading horror for the first time. These stories do have a little spook to them, but they're not so horrific as to scare off a new reader. So I think that they would be excellent for a YA reader. I think also for parents, because you may be able to get your tween or your teen to put down the video game and read a good book. Tales from Mr. McCobb. What do we have in this story? It starts off with the first story of how Mr. McCobb became Mr. McCobb. <laughs> and that was pretty neat. I enjoyed that story very much. Also within these pages is a kitchen appliance that pretty much everyone would want and everyone would regret getting. There's also a tree that can run and a giant silverfish. An insane, crazy librarian. Killer seedweed. Killer chickens. And a boogeyman. So, within these 24 tales, there's a little bit of everything. Now, I believe, again, that a YA reader just getting into horror would really enjoy this book. But also... I think anyone who's young at heart and wants to have a giggle and a little fright would enjoy this book. Uh, I'm a 58-year-old man. My wife says I'm a 200-pound five-year-old. And I've got to say, I've really enjoyed this book. It was a lot of fun to read. So if you want something you can zip through pretty quick, you can really enjoy. Uh, I think this is a great pick. Now, to be fair in how I would rate this book, I, I would do it the same with any collection of stories. I read through each individual story and gave that story a rating from one to five stars, just like I would any story. 
Then I averaged all those ratings together to get the overall rating for the book. In doing so, I came up with a 4.5 star rating. Then I added the fact that when I ended the book and closed it, I had a big old smile on my face. That's worth making it a five star, I think. So I did rate this book five stars, especially for the right reader, someone who would really enjoy a bit of horror mixed with a bit of comedy. And again, I think it would be great for your teen or tween. There's nothing overly dramatic or definitely nothing sexually explicit, none of that kind of stuff in there, nothing that would be you know, inappropriate for a teen. It's a very solid, well-written, easy to read, neat little book. So I have a link in the description where you can get this book. Grab this little book. I think you'll enjoy it very much. Until next time, I'm Rod Gilly. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Bye-bye. Don't forget to check the description for Dark Violet Dreams. It's a great site. And of course, there's a link in the description as well where you can pick up Daniel Hayes' book, Tales from Mr. Macabre. Have a wonderful day.